This is a quick tutorial to get to the digits page and to get into a lesson. So hopefully you can get to the digital website and if your teacher has included the link there's the bridge site which is unique to IPSD login. It is kind of long so hopefully you guys can click on uh, the, the shortcuts are provided. A lot of times teachers will put it in the about section or um, right where it is on the agenda. So the first thing you need to do is go to the digit site or the bridge is what I call it. You want to log in. Any student login should work as well. But at any it should be able to take you to lesson. And you can go from there. Let's see. You want to make sure you select Pierce and Realize. The student interface may look a little bit different, but it should take you to a site that looks very similar to that of what you're about to see. Where you have this background picture and you can choose normally the middle icon has the book that you need to have if it you don't see the program you have you want to go ahead and click on the left hand side which is where it says programs when you have programs this is clearly seventh grade that I'm looking at so I'm gonna click on seventh grade which is the one that's kinda you can tell that it's kinda boxed or kinda grayed out or like foggy or snow like and once I go there I'm going to find the unit. Right now, this is the first unit, so I'm going to go to unit A, the very first one. I'm going to click on it once. And when you click on it once, it will go, it'll say it's loading. And I'm going to go straight to topic one. So it's like A1. And we're going to be on our very first lesson. So you can see that there's several different topics right here, or several different things. But I'm going to choose to do lesson 1 1. That's how it's notated. It's important to tell the students what the lesson is about, and it doesn't do a, the program doesn't do a good job of putting the, uh, the title on every slide, which is equivalent, right? Because you'll see something like this, where it's kind of numeric. You have the situation where you have all the various things. We're going to go ahead and click on the topic opener, and the main the main parts of the lesson are the ones where. They are doing the part one, part two, and part three. They can use either their notebooks or their digits books that are, should be in the class for me. It's it's gone or the, whatever. Where if they keep it in their locker, but it's Scullin or in seventh grade and seven zero, we should be keeping them in the class. In any case, go ahead and click on topic opener and. You should be able to see a navigation tool on the bottom right here. And you're going to click on the next portion to be able to go to the next screen. And you should be able to watch a video with a person that talks about it. Whenever you see a little play button, you see it's in the background right here or in the forefront of it. You can go ahead and click it and it'll take care of itself. You can start uh, have the guy talk. He's going to introduce it. I'm going to stop him real quick. But while he's talking, I want to point out that on the top right here is it's another pull-down menu. To navigate, you can click on this, and you know you were just at the launch, so you can go to part one. Each part one has two parts. There is the example. Oh, I'm sorry, I lied. There's three. There's the introduction. There's the example. And then there's the got it. The example needs to be done in class, and I would encourage all students to be writing notes on this. Be sure that they want to make sure that they're clearly labeling that this is a, the example, the example for the part one, and they, they need to understand that it's on equivalent ratios. Your guide, that, that is, which is the book that's um, that you have, could also give them a little subtitle as far as what the topic is. Once you get to the got it section, which is the next slide, the students have this in their books. I would like them to go ahead and work on the solutions and the various things. I want to point out that you also have different options on the bottom right there. And they're going to be able to, if you click on that, it should be able to show them how they, they do it. And you can walk it, walk them through the solutions. Once I'm done with part one, I'm going to go back to the top and I'm going to the next portion. It's like step by step. And then eventually, the key concept 
and then eventually we're going to go to the closing check. And this closing check is to see if they understand the concept. And this is also located in their digits books. If you click on the companion page, this is right below, right there. It'll pull up a PDF. Normally you have to enlarge it by dragging. And this is exactly what the students have to work. I normally let them work in pairs. And feel free to rearrange the groups however you feel necessary. All right, students, make sure you work with the sub very well. And we hope that you and you learn some stuff with digits.